Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Resident Evil 3 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now the game is currently running at 1080p with the lowest graphical settings. And at these settings, we're getting some pretty decent levels of performance. Though the 1% lows are suffering here and there, and it mostly just comes down to the fact that we're getting some noticeable frame spikes when we pan through. But really, it's nothing that happens consistently enough to really ruin the experience. It's honestly very playable like this. And really, if you don't have the FPS counter, it's really just not going to matter to you at all. You're not really going to think about the performance. It's going to be decent enough that you're just going to get lost in the game. But I don't think there's much that you should really worry about there. I wasn't really expecting 1080p to perform this well, but honestly, it's pretty passable. I mean, it certainly would have been cool if Resident Evil 4 performed this well on my computer when I had that back when I was a kid. My original PC was running that at like, I think like maybe 20 frames per second. And I, I don't even think that that was consistent. So really overall, all not going to be an amazing experience but it's definitely going to be passable like this but you can do some stuff to improve the performance overall so for example setting the target render resolution to 70 percent actually nets us a pretty noticeable increase in performance specifically in the one percent lows though it does have a noticeable impact in the visual quality specifically in the edges of things sometimes things can kind of look a little like yes to quality so it doesn't necessarily look amazing Amazing, but honestly overall I really don't think it's gonna matter to most people and you're free to turn that up to like 80% if you want just know you're gonna be sacrificing some of that 1% low performance but really the level of playability that you get like this compared to just the full 1080p resolution is just so much better that I don't really think it's worth going with the native 1080p resolution all of the major stutters and dips have been completely alleviated at this point so we really don't need to worry about anything like like that and I really don't think that the 1080p resolution is worth having to deal with that consistently. I mean you're free to make your decision there on what you want but honestly I really don't see a reason to go with the full 1080p. But anyways that is it from me guys I will see you guys in the next one.